So, what is today? Uh, June 10th. What else? Friday. Friday. What else? Uh, it's our third day of uh, vacation. Where are we at? Uh, Camp Perry. Yeah. What is today? Why is today special? Uh, oh, you mean my birthday? Yeah. How old are you? Oh. <laughs> okay. So, we are in Port Clinton. Like Camp Perry. In Ohio. On Lake Erie. Yep. And so, do we want to discuss a little bit about how our trip's gone so far? <laughs> no, we have to talk about it. Like, this is for our memories. So that we can go back and look at these and be like, oh, God, do you remember that trip? So... It was, a, it was a great travel day, right? Uh, until the rock hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forget. See? This is why we make these videos, because I forgot about that, because we ran into something even more traumatic for me after that. All right, so weather-wise, it was great. It was sunny. It was perfect. We get into Columbus, Ohio, and we get passed by a dump truck that's full of, like, gravel. And, um, so... We're driving, and little rocks start happening, and then what happens? The windshield crack. <laughs> and um, I, I got a little frustrated, didn't I? Yeah, a little. A little. A um, lot. <laughs> but we worked past that, didn't we? Until about two hours later. That, the, okay, listen, it was not my fault, GPS. GPS is the devil. It's the devil. Anyways, GPS led us down a wrong road. It was a no outlet road. We were towing a 44 foot fifth wheel. And guys, I do not have video of this situation. I don't. It's not something you want to see. No. Oh my gosh. It. I'm not even kidding you. Like. The camper was leaning this way, and then it was leaning this way, and we were backing up somebody's driveway that was over this big hump. We dragged one of the... Uh... Or go into Lake Erie. Take your pick. <laughs> uh, anyways, we this it was not our first rodeo backing a camper into somebody's driveway at an odd angle down a one-lane road where there is no outlet and a camper should never go. Uh... But I thought we did better this time. It took us half the time of what it took us to do it the first time around. It also wasn't in the dark. It's, it's true. It's true. Yeah. And we met a lady that lived in the house that we were backing into. Her name was Debbie. She was super helpful. Honestly, um, Debbie was great. I, like, I want to send her a gift because she handled, she was, she could have been a complete and total, like, just jerk about it. Like, why are you in my driveway? Uh, you know, she wasn't. She totally was cool. She was actually up front helping David miss mailboxes. She said it happens all the time. Yeah. But anyways, um, it was super nice of her to help us with that. I was, I was so thankful. So, so very thankful for that. But um, finally, we get on, on Camp Perry here at the base and get into our little campsite. There's like uh, 30 spaces or whatever, 30 campsites or whatever. It's great. It's, it's clean. It's a nice campground. It is. It's a nice, it's quite, well, it's not quiet. The campground's quiet, but because we're on an active like training base, um, there's gunfire because that's what they do here. So it sounds like fireworks 90% of the day. I haven't heard anything at night though. No. I, I haven't heard anything at night. So like by three o'clock, all of the sounds stop. So that's nice, but you know, first thing in the morning is like firecrackers going off. You're like, what? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's where we're at. So, um, yesterday we went to Harbor Freight and got some things from Harbor Freight, and then today for we your walk, we walked on the pier too. Oh God, I forgot. <laughs> Guys, I, I. Like, I know there are going to be people besides us that are going to see this story. So, I have to reenact this. It's not just for my own personal. <laughs> it's not just for my own personal, like, look back on situation. So, there's this great pier that's metal. Maybe I'll get a video of it later. But I am not walking on that pier again. And after I tell you this story, you'll be like, yeah, I know. We don't go back on that pier again. Anyways, I thought... 
mentally in my head because it's an open grate metal pier that goes way out over the water that I'm not going to run across anything. There's not going to be rodents. There's not going to be <laughs> <laughs> creepy critters or danger noodles or any of that. I was wrong. So wrong. We get out there. We have a nice walk out. There's birds everywhere. There's seagulls everywhere. And they just, you know, at first they're really irritated. Like, why y'all on my property? Like, they weren't happy with us being on their property. At least they didn't poop on you. They didn't. I mean, they pooped before they flew away, but they didn't actually poop on us. But anyways, on the way back, <laughs> we get up towards where you have to get off of it, and out of the corner of my eye, I just catch this movement, and it's the tail. It's about this long going over the edge of the side of the bridge or the pier area, and immediately, I freak out. Immediately. I'm like, no. Immediately. I'm like, ah! And I, I jump, I run back towards David, and then a plan of attack comes in. What was my plan of attack? You took off. <laughs> what was I your plan of attack? I was flapping my arms, high knees, screaming, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. <laughs> and then I get off the bridge and I go, <gasps> I'm having heart palpitations. <laughs> now, mind you, the entire time, there is a tower with a guard in it, not not 50 feet from the end of the pier. And I know, I know, I know that they saw me do this. I know that they saw me freak out. I know that they saw me run around like a chicken with my head cut off. I know that they saw me panic. And I just want to know, did they laugh about it? And they're like, oh, there goes another one. Probably all of the above. <laughs> but anyways, I got off the pier quickly calmed myself down and we enjoyed the rest of our walk and I didn't lose my shit but for about a 30 second window I was sure I was gonna die and you just walked like a normal person didn't you it's, it's terrible anyways here on the base they have a campground uh, they also have like uh, little houses that you can rent um, family style housing the, the good news is they're this right is, up by the water they are the good news is this actual military base is run by the city the of state. state, city, whatever. Uh, so it's open to civilians and it's, you know, it's nice up here if you're like in the upper Ohio area or even Michigan and you're like, hey, I just want to get a place to get away where it's quiet and, you know, not a lot of traffic. Like this is the place. Like, I don't think we've run across more than like, what, seven or eight people at the same time? Inside here? Yeah. Yeah. Not, no, their buddies out. Yeah. I mean, if they do, they're kept to themselves. Yeah, so it's super quiet up here, having a good time. And then what did we do today? We went to the drive through safari. Yeah. And the walk through zoo. Yeah. And so, <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I well, was worried about that stupid longhorn cow. So there was this longhorn, like, long horn that came right up to the truck we drove the truck and david was just sure that he was just going to poke a hole through what he calls his aluminum tin can truck because all trucks are made out of aluminum now and he was just sure he's going to punch a hole in it what was your favorite part though i mean i mean i don't know that you got to see an emu you got to see bison get to see I mean probably the giraffe yeah the giraffe was definitely my favorite it, it was I mean it was an experience that yeah thing took the whole cup out of my hand you well you not learned. the whole cup no, but the all whole, the, all all the, the stuff and all yeah. the lettuce yeah so sometimes you have to uh, prepare for the mentality that animals don't understand how to share <laughs> live or be eaten it was the it was the bigger, it was the bigger one so it, it was, was gonna win it was and then um but the other one didn't go hungry it's true and so and i got to feed some giraffes too which i was so excited about that it's probably my favorite animal and then we went to the walkthrough area and they actually have like a bird is that called an area what what did they what did they bird sanctuary yeah but anyways you were able to walk inside this area where all the birds were and you could hold sticks with foods or whatever but they had like this whole section of peacocks and um so that was super cool. And the peacocks just walked right around you. Like you literally could have reached out and touched a peacock. I did not, but you you could if you wanted to. Like they were that close. It was it was it was fun. Didn't you think so? 
Yeah. And they had eggs and everything. Yeah, there. they actually laid eggs there. Now, and, she, and I asked the girl, so what did she do? We just leave them and let them do what they do. I was like, oh, that's cool. So there could be a peacock hatching an egg somewhere down the road. Who knows? And there's an albino alligator. Yeah. We didn't get too close to him because he was back napping. But he's all white. They actually had, because it was a safari, and I'm assuming it's kind of like a sanctuary place too, they had a lot of albino animals there. They had albino deer. Um, they had um, albino um, porcupine. There were some. Those things are huge. They have an albino peacock. Yeah. I was. Listen, I've never seen a porcupine before. Like, not that close up. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? That thing was like. It was, it was a size like a small like a, a medium sized dog i would say it was even bigger than that I, he was definitely the size of a lab but heavier more weight to him like you know an actual lab but like thicker you know so we got some ice cream over there was it good it was all right it was all right yeah so all in all so far for your birthday have you had fun so far so far so what else is gonna happen on this trip while we're here? Uh, I don't know. What am I excited about? You, you're excited about getting to meet up with your friends. Yeah, they get to see Kate and Eileen and Kate's husband Doug and her kids and Eileen's little girl Nora. That's the baby belly. I'm so excited about that. Anyways, what are you thinking? I'm just trying to think if there's something else that we're supposed to do. Is there another camp coming like in? Class A. Yeah. So, anyways, we're going to cut this video here. Probably going to add in some snippets and photos of events we've done over the last couple of days. And then add to it if other stuff comes up. Maybe I mean, split it in two. Have, we still have, what, one, two... Four more uh, full days here. Yeah. So who knows what we're going to get into. Never know. <laughs> That's the truth. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I know, buddy. You got somebody coming right behind you. I'm. Oh, shit. He's going <laughs> to... Here you go, David. Hi, buddy. Hi, Oh, my goodness. Hi, buddy. Oh my goodness! Easy. They got to take the whole thing oh, all at once. I told the you. Whole thing. I told you. You gotta mm -mm, just one piece at a time. That's what I'm doing. Here you go, Brian. Can you get it? Oh my gosh! So much fun. I want to feed one up here. Okay. Is that it? You want some lettuce? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Load me up with some lettuce. Hey, buddy. Look good. Can you get in there? Oh my goodness, you're so talented. You are so freaking cute. You sure we can't stick you in the back of the truck and take you home with us? I think that's the last of it, buddy. That's all I got. All my cups are empty. It was nice to meet you. Okay, 
Ada buds. <laughs> this might be my favorite thing ever. Seriously, this might be my favorite. Wow, we're gonna have to vacuum it. Listen, I want to be your friend too. I do, but I'm not going to give you all the grass stuff. I'll give you some of this stuff though. Okay? What you guys got? Watch this. Oh my gosh, they keep just, they get so close to you. Hey guys. These, I think these are peacocks, but I think that they're just female versions of peacocks. So the male will have all the I don't know that for sure. I think this guy just really likes you, honey. He's walking right past you. Oh my goodness. I mean, they're everywhere. Huh. They're everywhere. He is Bruce. Like, nobody gets in, nobody gets out. Like, he's the bouncer of the group. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody else is out here chilling, chilling. You know, he's at the door like, nope, can't get in. <laughs>